welcome back to more Trigger King Retro action. This is Bracket 2. You saw Retro 1 last time out. This is our second bracket of our first event. Taking a look at qualifying results. Once again, Orange Outlaw killing it today with another top qualifier. And once again, Barefoot Racer right behind. So we'll see what Orange Outlaw can do if he can match that finals appearance from round number one. But we're into it in round one right here. Orange Outlaw and Chris Hackinson, surprise number 16 qualifier. Oh, it's close and Walker's in trouble and the number one qualifier goes down in the first match of the day. Now it's overkill. Michael Spurlock, his brand new overkill truck. And King Ghidorah, a brand new identity from Iron Aaron James. Both trucks all out of shape coming around that second corner. Spurlock in the lead right now, holding Ghidorah on the precipice and overkill puts Ghidorah down. Bigfoot seven, the winner in fir the first bracket, and Orange Foot, number 13 qualifier. Bigfoot seven off to a huge jump off the starting line. You can see with the Orange Foot truck how loose this surface is. The truck is really fishtailing around. Chandler not a perfectly clean run, but it'll get it done as he'll move into round number two with that victory. The 512 matchup, Buffalo Trimmer, Jeremy Mark, and Rotten Ole Apple. I think these two faced off in bracket number one. We'll see if the result is the same or different. Right now, Ole Apple is off into a little bit of a lead, but Trimmer's charging. Apple out of shape on the final straightaway, and Trimmer stretches it out to the win. Barefoot Racer. And Mile High Crusher on the line, the 215 matchup. Barefoot Racer, an old identity with a new body, and Mile High Crusher, a brand new truck for Troy in the far lane. Troy running a mostly stock clod buster right now, so he's still putting some work into it, and the win is going to go to Parrish in the near lane with the Barefoot Racer. In the hole, master, Orangeinator, Chris Blank, and the other Barefoot, the Dodge Barefoot, Chris Hackinson. Blank in trouble. Hackinson off with a comfortable lead. Blank, more issues. This is all barefoot as long as he doesn't roll it over. He clears it out and takes the win. Number three, Master of Disaster. And number 14, Gunslinger, Fred Kors. Gunslinger, a new truck. Not new to racing. He's been racing some of the other series. Looking pretty solid so far. Paris with a bobble in the second turn. Still staying pretty close. But Paris straightens it out on the final straightaway and drives to the victory. Even with a reverse around that corner, Chris Paris has to the playing Taurus 1, Jeremy Mark versus Monster Orange 4, Bob Chandler. This is a J Concepts regulator in the far lane and a sicken me chassis in the near lane. And the Taurus truck takes the victory. <laughs> Round number two action. 
the number eight and the number 16 matchup, Overkill and Bigfoot won. Hackinson with a horrendous qualifying effort, but took down the number one qualifier in round number one. Spurlock out to the lead. Looking good with the new truck. Overkill takes the win and moves into the semifinals. Great job for the newcomer. Two good rivals here, Bigfoot Seven and Buffalo Trimmer, Chandler and Mark. We've talked about it before, but two very different approaches to truck setup. Chandler out in the lead though. Both trucks looking good, but Chandler driving away with it at the moment and moves into the semifinals. It's a battle of the bears. You walk into the room, you're gonna grab a bear here, but what are you gonna do when you do? It's Barefoot Racer, Chris Parrish, and Barefoot Chris Hackinson, Dodge versus Chevy. Choose your favorite. Both trucks looking really good. Coming into the final corner, Hackinson a little bit of a lead. Hackinson looking good, taking the win with the Barefoot Dodge. On the line now, the three versus six, Master of Disaster and Taurus One. Taurus One, a specialty body here, not usually on the circuit, may not be around forever, so enjoy it while it's here. Maybe a special treat. But right now, Master of Disaster not enjoying anything. Out in the lead, taking down and putting down Taurus. And Taurus made a charge at the end of the, the straightaway there. Not quite enough. Semi-finals, the final four. Overkill, the newcomer in retro. The old champion, Bob Chandler in Bigfoot 7. Can Spurlock take down the Trigger King? He's neck and neck, but Chandler's out in the lead. Oh, he swings wide and the win goes to Chandler moving to his second final round of the day and the season. Master of Disaster and Barefoot. Master of Disaster having mechanical problems on the line. Is that going to play into this race? Hackinson has looked good all day. Parrish out of sorts in Master. Barefoot driving away from him right now. Perhaps Gremlins or just in his head, but Parrish collapses and Barefoot takes the win, moving to the finals. Great performance today from Hackinson. That sets it up. This is your Retro Bracket 2 Finals, Bigfoot 7, Bob C. Chandler, and Barefoot, Chris Hackinson, the classic rivalry. neck and neck off the line. Chandler gets to the second turn a little bit faster. Hackinson out of shape. Chandler keeping it clean and sweeping the day in retro class, taking the victory in bracket number two. Starting the season off just like he closed 2023 it may be a tough season for the competition. We'll see what unfolds. I think we'll see a lot of change throughout the season with the texture of the surface as this new building is completed, driver development, equipment development. So it's far from over, but Chandler setting the tone so far in 2024. With the sweep, he takes the overall victory for the day. And you can see already stretching a little bit of a points lead, but again, it's still very early in the season. So make sure you join us again. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you to all of our sponsors that make this happen. It's exciting to kick off a new season and have this brand new facility. 
We look forward to great action all season long. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time.